Okay, so in this lesson, we're going to go over basketball drills level three. Okay, so basketball drills level three says build an algorithm, a process or set of rules to move through all one to eight grid squares in sequential order. The VR robot should move to one, go back to start, move to two, go back to start. Continue this pattern for all eight grid squares. Okay, so we're going to take the code that you made in level one and level two and find patterns in it and basically make it much smaller. Okay, so um, we're going to come over to um, our playground. And remember, our playground is grid map. So let me come over here. All right. So let me X out of this. Click on my playground. And expand it. All right. So um, let's first off, let's go ahead and set the drive velocity to 100%. Okay. Since we're going to be. Um, I want to go through this much quicker. So, 100%. Uh, I want to actually create a variable in this. And so, uh, and I've already created a variable right over here. In order for you to make a variable, what you would do is you go to make a variable, and then you'd say distance one, and then hit submit. You notice it's going to pop up right over here. I'm going to rename this though, and just call it distance. Hit submit. All right. And it's going to be right here. So you can have several different variables that you can choose from. But we're only going to need one. So I'm going to come over here, uh, bring this over here, and set this to 200 because each one of these squares is 200 millimeters across. Okay. The next thing I want to do is I want to repeat it because I don't want to go forward, reverse, forward, reverse like we did in level one and level two. There's no need to do that. All right. We know we got to go up eight times all right and the first thing I'm gonna grab is going to be drive forward for 200 millimeters and then the second thing is going to be drive reverse for 200 millimeters and since we created a variable I can come over here to variables and take this distance and put it right here all right now what I need to do is, is so when this goes to this cycle, okay, it turns my robot on to full speed, 100%. It says, hey, go to the distance of 200 millimeters, and it says drive forward for how much? 200, because my variable is set to there, and then I reverse again for 200. But when it gets to the bottom, I need to make sure that it goes for back up 400, and then 600, and 800, and so on. So I'm going to go grab an operator. And I'm going to take this operator and put it here. Go back to my variables because my, I know my variable is worth or equal to 200 millimeters. And then I'm going to add 200 to it. Okay? So when it comes back down, it says, hey, take that distance, which is equal to 200, add another 200. So now it's 400 is my distance. And so now the new distance um, will be equal to 400. So let's go ahead and try it. There we go. It should cycle all the way up to the top and then back down. This is one way to do it. You can also, um, instead of the reverse, we could probably put the turn variable in there. And we'll try that in just a second because I know some of you guys may have actually done that. All right. One last time. All right, perfect. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and stop it, refresh it. Let's just say I want to take this out, and I want to put um, this back up here. But I want to use the turn right, and I want to say um, for 180 degrees. And then I want to go, um, and then I just go forward for the distance, just in case some of you guys did it this way. All right, and then we would have to go, let's see, uh, turn right again. So let's come back up here. It's a little bit more so to do than the other way, but just in case you did it this way. All right, so let's try this real quick. Refresh. Let's see if I did it. If 
fact, let's go ahead and stop this. And what we're going to do is, is we're going to put a turn velocity in here as well. This is just two different ways to do it, okay? It should speed it up if I put this to 100. Fresh, hit play, let's see. Here we go. Again, this is just a different way to do it. It does take a little bit longer, um, and your code's gonna be a little bit longer, but that's okay. So we did the turn right in level two, and we just did the forward reverse in level one. And so, almost done. One more up, and this should complete everything right here. Let's see if it turns it off. Perfect. We didn't need this. I could have deleted that right there. Go ahead and stop it, refresh it. That is level three basketball drills. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me.